A rivalry in hockey refers to a competition between two teams that have a long-standing history of intense and heated games. These teams typically have a strong dislike for one another, and their matches are filled with physical play, hard hits, and a high level of intensity. The teams will often have a history of close games, comebacks and upsets, making every game between them a must-watch event. The energy in the arena and the emotions on the ice are always high when these teams face off. And it's not uncommon for players to engage in trash talking and physical altercations. It's a fierce competition between two teams that creates a lot of excitement for the fans and players. Welcome to one of the fiercest rivalries in Tier 3 Junior Hockey. The Helena Bighorns versus the Gillette Wild. Two teams with a long-standing history of intense competition and a burning desire to come out on top. When the Bighorns and the Wild play each other, it's not simply a game. It's a battle for pride, glory, and divisional supremacy. Tonight will be the first of four matchups between these two teams hosted by Helena. It's Hockey Night in Helena, Frontier Division matchup. Helena Bighorns hosting the Gillette Wild. The energy in the Helena Ice Arena is electric as the teams take to the ice. The players are focused, determined, and ready for battle. The tension is palpable as the teams line up for the opening faceoff. Shot off a body in front, knocked down Turk, might have got a piece of it, pops up. It's in the nets! It's in the nets! It deflected up, ended up behind Jake Turek. The Bighorns out in front here, one to nothing. In front, Camden Cunningham shot, recovered by Turk, shot, score! Zach Turner! After being shut down on the penalty shot, a little redemption for Zach Turner as he beats Jake Turk. And the Bighorns back out in front, two to one, with just under seven minutes remaining here in the second period. Now chasing it down is TJ Norris. Norris able to backhand it out, open that in a race for it's Harlan Watusik. He's hustling, Harlan Watusik in, he scores! Open that goal for Harlan Watusik! His second of the night. Through center ice, dumped into the Helena zone, and the buzzer sounds as Merrick Andrus stops the rolling puck. The Bighorns picking up a huge 3-1 victory over the first place Gillette Wild. Pulling two points closer to that number one slot in the Frontier Division. After a hard-fought opening battle last night, the puck drops once again between the Bighorns and the Wild. But it would be Gillette who lands the first blow. Played across, Bogey walking in, his shot, pad save, score! Zach Slinger able to get a stick on the rebound after Andrus made the pad stop through a whole bunch of traffic. Right in across for Feemster. Into the circle, moving in, shot knocked out by Wheaton, the puck's loose, SCORE! Big Horns! The Big Horns have evened it up here at 10.49 of the second period. Now for the point, SCORE! Isaac Young! I don't think Andrus ever saw it. It'll be a power play goal for the Wild. Puts them in front, two to one here with 4.27 remaining. Here's TJ Norris with a shot blocked and knocked down. Now Norris with a backhand feed over for Cunningham. Five seconds to go. Played behind the goal, tripped up. Deskin plays it in front, desperately goes past Wheaton and the buzzer sounds. Gillette Wild. Picking up a two to one victory here to split the series with the Helena Bighorns. A late goal from Isaac Young. Exciting finish as always between these two teams. 
Wild goaltender Cole Wheaton stops 50 of 51 shots tonight, helping his squad write yet another chapter in the story of this rivalry, a 2-1 victory. My name's Garrett Bogan. I play defense for the Helena Bighorns, and I'm from Colorado Springs, Colorado. If you had to tell somebody what it's like when these two teams play, what would you tell them? It's really gritty. High skilled. Some of the most fun games I've been a part of. You have the top scorers from the division going head to head with each other. Some of the best defensemen and best goalies in the frontier. So after game one, we knew pretty much after that we were going to be missing Bloom and Camden the next day. So uh, we kind of regrouped, the coaches reset the lines and made the best pairings possible that we could go into into game two. And those are big guys to lose, but we stayed together and um, played really well throughout the game and we ended up coming up short, but that was the best weekend of hockey I think we've played all year, so. It definitely boosts the confidence in the locker room, just showing guys are able to step up to the plate when called upon, and it doesn't have to be our top two lines of guys just going out there. It can be anyone that can step up at any point, and it's really a team game, and we all need to be together in order to win. In the month's time since that weekend, Bighorn's goaltender Merrick Andres left the team to pursue his hockey career at a higher level. And now with Gillette returning to the Helena Ice Arena in this new year, a Bighorn's goaltender would need to step up to the challenge. Enter Jesse Schindel. Jesse Schindel, number 33, Lethbridge, Alberta. Didn't look at it like it was anything more than what, it was just a regular season game. Obviously there are big points for the team if we want to pass them to get first place in our division, but I just play like it's any other game. Another full capacity crowd packs the Helena Ice Arena, and the third matchup between these two teams begins. With fast paced, heavy hitting action happening all period long, Helena scores first late in the period. Here's Camden Cunningham, top of the circle, across, now out high for Feenster. Cross for Cunningham with a shot, he scores! Camden Cunningham with a power play goal on a one-timer. Bogan feet ahead, knocked off by Gillette Body. Quick feet in the slot, shot saved by Schindel. Robbing Caleb Moore there with a great chance from the slot. Here's Moore again at the Helena Blue Line. Chips it in past Dylan Cunningham. Bogan back to play it. Play behind Norwegian, slips it in front, Schindel with a great stop in front, diving out to knock that one down as the net comes off. Schindel stops the first 21 Gillette shots on goal, heading into the final period of play, where the rivalry becomes intensified. And we got a whistle at the far boards at the Helena at the Gillette Blue Line. A little scrum going on. We are going to have a penalty or two or more as the linesmen step in to break things up. We have a couple of pairings going and now Zach Turner involved in one. Tyler Moore involved in another. The fists are flying. Norris with the feet across for Bogan. Has Watusik on his left. Bogan with the feet across. Watusik! The shot. Turek just got a piece of it and trickles in on the rebound. Played from below the goal line. I think Arnold Watusik is going to get it. Here's Darby McCarthy. Leaves it for Feemster. Feemster walking in. High shot. He scores! Feemster ripping it past Jake Turek. Hustling over to play it. It's Anthony Foster. He turns it over. Deskin still. Deskin shot. Score! Andrew Deskin on the open net.
13 seconds left. Played across for Moore. Caleb Moore, shot blocked. Out into the neutral zone. Played across, and the buzzer goes. Helena Bighorns picking up a huge win tonight. Picking up two points on the Gillette Wild. The penalty killing unit outstanding, shutting down the Gillette power play. They were scoreless. And an outstanding job in the net for the Bighorns from Jesse Schindel. Picks up the shutout. Schindel becomes the first Bighorns goaltender in over five seasons to record a shutout against their rivals. Oh, we, we were so like blown away that we were able to get through that one and just dominate him that way. And I mean, he played great throughout that whole game and really kept us in it and boosted our confidence throughout the game so we could just keep chugging along knowing that we were covered on the back end. Uh, it was pretty surreal, I was pretty excited. Uh, after learning I was the first, well, I'd say we were the first team to show them out in six years because the team played great in front of me. A sold out, standing room only crowd is salivating for tonight's game. And some of the fans are becoming, well, fanatic. And the rivalry delivers what they crave early in the first period. Off with Tuzik in front of Cam Cunningham shot block rebound score. I think it was Tyler Bloom coming in off picking up the rebound. Wheaton made the original stop. It'll be a power play goal. Tyler Bloom. Helena goalie Jesse Schindel keeps the Wild at bay with another scoreless second period. A Norwegian across. A Norwegian out high. Shot steered aside by Schindel. Foster dishing into the corner. Hip sag. Collides with Dylan Cunningham. Plays it across. Now on high to the high. Slot to the point. Here Schmidt's shot makes it through. Schindel lost it. Bighorn's able to clear it as it was loose in front momentarily. Jesse Schindel able to get a pad on it as the Bighorns return to full strength. I recovered Feimster. Dishes the cross, Tyler Blooms. Just seconds remaining. Bloom shot blocked in front as the buzzer sounds. And Bloom gets smacked there at the end by Johnson. The referee was right there, so I think there'll be a penalty called here at the end of the period. Ahead for Watusik. Plenty of room to maneuver into the Gillette zone. Watusik swings by feet in front. Score! Big horns! Dylan Cunningham sneaking in the back door. Ten minute pass. Cole Wheaton. Young shot. He scores! Over the shoulder of Jesse Schindel. Isaac Young. First goal of the weekend for Gillette. That pulls them to back within one with 6.51 to play. Every hit, every shot, every save is met with a roar from the crowd. Every move is crucial. Every decision made could mean the difference between victory and defeat. Tied up along the close wall, coming away with it. Norwegian, his shot blocked by Watusik and backhanded down by Cunningham. It's going to roll wide. 13 seconds left. 
Pass through center ice, knocked away from Foster. Five seconds left. Bighorn's back at full strength, still an empty net. Cunningham's going to tie it up. The corner of the Bighorns are going to win two in a row from Gillette. The story of this season is not yet over. Gillette remains three points ahead of the Bighorns in the NA3HL Frontier Division standings. The Wild will host the Bighorns in the final two regular season games between these two teams at the end of February. If the Bighorns want to repeat as Frontier Division regular season champs and clinch home ice advantage in this year's playoffs, they'll need to win out the rest of their games in the schedule including, and especially, those two in Gillette.